Well, King, you really know how to show a girl a good time. It was just dinner and a movie. How was I to know that he'd get upset? Big Hugh's got a thing about guys dating his girl. There's not much we can do now, Joe. Well, Rita, how about one for the road? Did you hear that? Hear what? Sparky? You know him? Don't just stand there, guys. We gotta get out of here before Big U catches on. Too late. I'm one step ahead of you. Gentlemen, kill them. Hey, watch where you put those hands, Buster. Get them, and I want them dead. This time. That was close. I gotta hand it to you, King. You certainly know how to end the night with a bang. Shoot. I almost forgot. I have to pick up Faye Russell, the famous movie star, in less than eight hours. Let's go, Sparky. Will I ever see you again? Only if you're lucky. Anderson, what are you doing here? And where's Miss Russell? You fool, King! Did you really think that I would let you fly Faye Russell, the most beautiful actress of our time, into the Amazon jungle? Uh, um... Well, yeah, I won the contract fair and square. <laughs> You're more gullible than I imagined. Quit kidding, Anderson. I gotta fly her out before the storm hits. I got my plane all gassed up and ready to go. Not this time, King. I will have the money and the girl. But, but she's my favorite actress. Besides, if I don't get the money, I could lose my plane. That's less competition for Flying Dutchman Airlines. I will fly Faye to the Amazon for her photo shoot, and I will get all the glory. Soon, I will rule the skies! Hey, you can't do that. I just did. Now try and get out of this one, King. See you later! I've got a plane to catch! <laughs> It's locked. <sighs> My one chance to meet the most beautiful actress in all the world has just been shot down in flames. And here I am trapped in a cheap theater hotel in downtown Rio. Guess I should try and find a way out of here. doesn't seem to work.
Not even my pal Sparky can hear me. Should do the trick. That doesn't seem to work. Joint. Ah, there's just the front entrance. That's the only way in and the only way out. Why do you want to know? I like to work out escape routes in case of fire. Oh, well, if there's a fire, you'll have to leave by the front door. About that key on your desk? Yeah, what about it? I need to borrow it for a while. Sorry, pal, but that key belongs to Miss Lola. Unless you're a friend of hers, I can't let you have it. How long have you been working here? For about six months now. My uncle co-owns this hotel with Anderson, so he got me this job. Thanks for the information. That's okay. About that key again. What do you want now? I'm Lola's friend. She asked me to get it for her. Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? Feel free to take the key anytime. Thanks. It fits! Uh, hello, Lola. Well, 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 if it isn't Joseph King. It's been a while. Not long enough. Lola, I need your help. Yeah? So what else is new? This is serious. Can you help me? That depends. What do you want? Anderson's goons have me trapped here. And I suppose you want me to help you escape. Well, yeah. Why should I help you, Joe? It took me a long time to forget what you did to me. Look, I'm sorry for what I did in the past. So you should be. Get me a towel, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Lola. You're the best.
but what do you know? I just found a towel. Here's your towel, Lola. Thanks. You want to get out of this dump? Well, I've got a plan. What sort of plan? Let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it. Found uh, what? You can use this dress as a disguise. Here. Thanks. You know, Lola, I won't forget this. Yeah, right. Well, you better get out of here. I've got a show in ten minutes and I ain't dressed yet. Okay, let's get out of here. You called for me, Dr. Einstein? Yes. I want you to witness the testing of my dino ray. With it, I can turn humans into dinosaur people. Watch as I demonstrate. <laughs> Amazing! She transformed into a monster before my very eyes. You've seen nothing yet. Observe as I activate the aggression enhancer. Soon she will be a quivering, snarling mass of dinosaur terror. She doesn't look very menacing. <laughs> That's just a, a minor technical problem. I'll soon have it fixed. Unfortunately, she was my last specimen. I need more Amazon women. Then I can create a dinosaur army to take over the world. <laughs> Hurry, Sparky. We gotta get to the airport. Hey, that wasn't Lola. That was King. Let's get him! Thanks for waiting around, Sparky. <laughs> Rico and Eddie are hot on our heels. Take this, you goons! <laughs> Take this, you goons! Cow seem to like this stuff. Wait a minute, there's something under here. Time for an oil change. Oil need 
Spock. Okay, Sparky, let's get to the airport. Well, uh, Ms. Russell, everything seems to be in order. You may board the plane. Finally! I've been waiting here for ages. My time is money. You got that? Yes. Whatever you say, let's uh, go now, shall we? Hold it right there, Anderson. Huh? Who are you? He's uh, nobody, Faye. Now just get on the plane. I'm Joe King, owner and pilot of this plane. I thought you said it was yours. Don't listen to him, Faye. You couldn't pilot your way out of a paper bag. At least I don't look like I need to wear one. You're asking for trouble, King. I'm going to run you out of town. I heard that you're a pretty fast runner. You're beginning to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah? You ain't seen nothing yet. Why do you hit him? He had it coming to him, Miss Russell. Nobody takes customers away from the Amazon Queen. Hmm, I thought he was kind of cute. Joe! Let me guess. This guy is going to say he's the owner of the plane, right? No, Miss Russell. This is my pal Sparky, the Queen's mechanic. We've got to get a move on. There's a big storm brewing. Well, I think it's time we got this show on the road. Not my fault. Yeah, right. We were hit by lightning. What could I do? I don't want to hear excuses. Just get us out of this mess, okay? I just found a knife and a lighter. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I just found one of your comic book coupons. Is it the Commander Rocket Authentic Secret Pocket Rocket Decoder Ring coupon? That's the one. Unfortunately, it's all soggy. Gosh darn it. That page was from my new Commander Rocket comic, which means the rest of the comic must have been damaged in the crash. Sorry, pal. You might as well keep it, Joe. I'll try and get a new one later. One that's in mint condition. How are things, Sparky? It could be better, Joe. The plane is pretty badly damaged. How long will it take you to fix her? Fix her? You need more than a mechanic to fix the Queen, Joe. You need a miracle worker. What supplies do we have? Just about everything's been water damaged, including my new Commander Rocket comic. I got some beef jerky if you're feeling hungry. I'm starved. I'd love some beef jerky. Here you go, Joe. Don't eat it all at once, or you could end up like me. Constantly playing with a yo-yo? No, just slightly on the larger size. Though I have lost some weight lately, but that's probably because we haven't had a paying customer for months. Hang in there. I'll try, Joe. Look, M Miss Russell, I understand you're upset. Damn right I am. I'm mad as hell. I'm not too happy either, lady. But you ain't helping things. Why should I help? This is your mess. You clean it up. Are you ever in a good mood? Usually. But not when I'm stuck in a jungle with a nincompoop mechanic and a stuck-up half-witted, scruffy-looking bush pilot. Leave Sparky out of this. He's a real good writer. Oh, yeah? What does he write? Comic books? 
Yeah, he does. And they're better written than most of your movies. That does it! I don't have to listen to this! It would make a great boat, but I need some sort of paddle. There's no way I'm going to put my arm in the water with those piranhas around. Here you go, fishies. The stem is holding the lily pad in place. That should do the trick. Hey guys, hop on board. I'm gonna row this lily pad to the bank. Is this safe? Maybe you'd rather stay in the plane? I think I'll risk the lily pad. Okay, guys. I want you to stay here while I go get some help. I'm gonna try and find a telephone and call Al's Air Rescue. While you're at it, give your lawyer a call, too. You're going to need him when we get out of this mess. Ha ha ha. I think you should stick to drama, Faye. Comedy isn't you. Okay, guys. I won't be too long. Excuse me, Joe. Yes, Sparky? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. What sort of favor? Well, if you find the shop, could you see if they have any Commander Rocket comics? Comics? My copy of Commander Rocket vs. the Mob got water damaged in the crash. I'd really appreciate it if you could find me a new one. Okay, Sparky, I'll have a look. But I can't guarantee anything. After all, we're in the Amazon jungle. Thanks, Joe. Spark? What a pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Pat, oh, oh. Princess Azura is in trouble. Uh oh. Rah, oh, oh, squawk. Hey, you can talk. Squawk. Oh. Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh oh. <whistles> oh, squawk. Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? Squawk. I'm being held captive. You must save me. Uh oh. What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squawk! Uh-oh! Help me, Trader Bob! You're my only hope! Uh-oh! Squawk! Hey! Come back here! That's just great. I've only just arrived in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob character can shed some light. It's a bit too strong for me to break. This rope really needs replacing. Thank you. 
Um. Hi. I'm Joe King. <coughs> Did a parrot come through here recently? Chonga, <coughs> chonga. I guess that's uh no. <coughs> Hey, relax, pal. I'll just stay over here. I don't think the gorilla is going to let me through. Hello again. <laughs> Would you mind moving so I can get past? <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. <laughs> Say, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't ya? Uh-huh. Uh, 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 gorilla. I thought gorillas came from Africa. Chunga, uh, uh, uh. Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. This is South America. You shouldn't be here. Gee, you're right. I guess I'd better get going then. How freaky! A phantom primate. That creep has left us here. He makes me so mad. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So? I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you gonna do now? I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. Welcome to Trader Bob's 24-Hour General Store and Authentic Native Village Playground. Dedicated to Pini, the great god of fertility. Hi, I'm Joe King. Can you speak English? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. So we meet again, my fine feathered friend. Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. I run this shop with Naomi over there. What can I do for you? Are you the same Trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else did that parrot tell you? Well, he told me about some princess. Azura, I think her name was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy. We gotta talk. What's your name? My name's King, Joe King, pilot for hire. Well, Joe, Princess Azura is a good friend of mine, and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's responsible, but I have my suspicions. I may need your help in finding her. Are you interested? Why do you need my help? Can't you do it yourself? The people I suspect of kidnapping Azura know me as her friend. 
they'd be very suspicious if I showed up snooping around. No one in the jungle knows who you are. Okay, I'll help. Fill me in on the details. Great. I knew you'd help. I think that Floda, a lederhosen company, kidnapped Azura. She was last seen near their camp earlier today. It'd be great if you could check the place out. What makes you think that Floda kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Floda has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? What exactly is lederhosen? Lederhosen? Why, it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details, I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floda on the other side of the pinnacle. Be careful, Joe, and if you need any more help, just ask. It's empty. That's right, son. A new supply of beef jerky should be through any day now. You look a little hungry. I've got some beef jerky. Would you like some? You bet I would. I'll even pay for it. That's okay. You can have it for free. No, I insist. Here, have some money. Gee, thanks. No, thank you. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this thing. That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son. It's actually an experimental self-powered model. Self-powered? Uh-huh. It's got a built-in battery or something. It'd be worth a fortune in the city, but it's useless here in the jungle. Well, I'm sure I can find a use for it. Here's some money. It's all yours, son. Nice doing business with you. Hey, no problem. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Can I help you? Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy, so they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. Where can I find these missionaries? They have their mission in the jungle. If you're thinking of asking them to teach you pygmy, forget it. They won't teach you for nothing. How come Bob over there didn't teach you? Bob's a nice guy and all, but his grasp of the English language is a little limited. He thinks grammar is the person who washes his grandfather's socks. <laughs> Thanks for your time. That's okay. Excuse me, Bob. What can I do for you? Would you have a phone I could use? Sorry, but the only phone in the village is broken. Do you know anyone else that may have a phone? Floda, probably. When you're looking for the princess, see if you can find one. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Polly want a cracker? Quack! The name's Wedgwood! Quack! Bozo! Who's a pretty boy then? Quack! Not you, that's for sure. I'd like to talk, but I gotta fly. Quack! Wise guy, eh? I 
has there been any success in finding the Crystal Skull? Uh, not yet, Dr. Einstein. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. I must have that skull soon. It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. Yeah, and to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Exactly. And with my new dino ray, I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Excellent, sir. Then I shall rule the world! <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Bud, and my friend here is Skip. We're explorers. Are you guys professional explorers? Uh-huh. That's why we're wearing these spiffy safari jackets and neat pith helmets. Yes, they're quite nice. Gee, thanks. Our safari suits are fashionable, yet practical. And our pith helmets help create an air of professionalism. What are you looking for in this jungle? We're trying to find a legendary lost tribe of Amazon women. Why do you want to find a tribe of Amazons? We were previously captured by them. They took us to their secret Amazon fortress. And then they... they... I'd rather not say what they did. How did you get away? Did you escape? Are you kidding? We wanted to stay there. You see, I've got this embarrassing... rash. It's from the jungle heat, you know. They saw that and kicked us out. Why is it an embarrassing rash? Because it's in a rather private place. Look, I'd pay lots of money to get rid of it. Thanks for talking. See ya. Talk to you later. Hi, my name's Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Skip. Jungle Explorer and Comic Collector. What comic book were you reading? Commander Rocket vs. The Mob. It's really good. I've got every issue of the comic. I even have number one sealed in plastic and buried in my backyard. My friend loves reading Commander Rocket. Another Rocket fan right here in the jungle. What a small world. Here's a message for him in Command the Rocket code. G-S-R-H-R-H-Z-H-V-X-I-V-G-N-V-H-H-Z-T-V. My friend has every issue of Rocket but one. Really? Which one is he missing? The one where he battles the Chicago mob. That's the very comic that I've got here. I've got a spare copy at home. If you want, you can have this one. Thanks. This'll make Sparky's day. I'm sure it will. I understand how important this'll be to your friend. I gotta go now. Goodbye.
Okay, doll. Tell us where your pops hidden the Model X7 atomic brain o tubes, and we'll let you go. Never! Leaping lizards. Professor Harbuckle was right. Those thugs have kidnapped his daughter Stacy. Smash! Oh no! It's Commander Rocket. Get him, boys! Zap. Zap. Ooh. What did you do to them? I immobilized them momentarily with my atomic stun gun. We have no time to lose. Jumping jackrabbits. My rocket pack is out of gas. Bleep, bleep. Looks like I picked the wrong day to quit the bottle. Bada, 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 bada. That's very potent alcohol you have there. It just might work in my rocket pack. Hey, go easy with that stuff. It costs money. Eat lead, rocket. He got away. Oh, rocket, you're such a dream. The American dream, ma'am. Well, what do you know? A loose page fell out of the comic book. If I put these two pieces of paper together, I can see the complete blueprint on the back. It's the blueprint for Commander Rocket's pocket rocket. It can reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour and runs on just a quarter gallon of gas. Hey, I know you, don't I? I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. What on earth are you supposed to be? I'm a vicious dinosaur. I'd stay back if I were you. I can be very dangerous. There's no such thing as a talking dinosaur. How would you know? I bet you've never ever seen one before. It's a costume. I can see the stitches. Those aren't stitches. They're worry lines. If you're a dinosaur, then why aren't you extinct? Because I eat a balanced diet and exercise regularly. I know who you are. You're the gorilla I saw earlier. No, I'm not. I'm a vicious dinosaur. Now leave me alone or I'll be forced to eat you. You can't eat me. Gorillas are vegetarians. Okay, you've got me. We did meet earlier. Now will you leave me alone? I've got to guard this log. You don't get out of it that easy. I've got some questions that need answers. Do you have to keep bothering me? What do you want to know? How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. Would you disappear again if I said you don't exist? Maybe, but of course, you'd have to say that I don't exist, and you wouldn't really want to do that, would you? Sorry, pal, but you don't exist. Thanks a lot, bud. I have the strangest feeling of deja vu. I hate heights.
That's taking care of them. I think I hear someone coming. I better hide. Hail, sister. Hail! Did you hunt well? Yes. Tonight we will feast on roast sloth and native berries. Excellent. My palate tingles in anticipation. You may enter the fortress. Wow! Real Amazons! Well, here goes nothing. Just my luck. A trap. You're in big trouble now, mister. Men are not allowed here. Come with me. Hey, let me out of here. Oh, great. Now I'm stuck in some stupid jail. Excuse me? Uh, yeah? Where am I? Uh... <sighs> You're in the Amazon's dungeon. Have you tried escaping yet? Escaping? Ach, no! It took me a month just to get captured. You wanted to get captured? Of course! Didn't you? Every red-blooded male who knows the legend tries to get captured. What exactly will the Amazons do to us? Well, they won't harm you. On the contrary, you'll be fed and clothed. But in return, they require certain services. Services that only men can give. Do you mean handyman work? Yeah, short of. You'll see. How long have you been here? Hmm. Now let me see. Ah, uh, about two days. Two days? You look like you've been here for years. Uh, yeah. It's all the hard work that we have to do. It makes us look older. What's so good about being in an Amazon dungeon? You really don't know, do you? The Amazons are a tribe of all women warriors. They need outside males to help keep their tribe populated. Know what I mean? I think I've heard enough. Okay, I'll get back to my puppet show. Excuse me. Yes? Nice hand puppets you have there. You really think so? Yeah, I like the one with the stick. That ain't a stick. That's a baseball bat. It's not a baseball bat. It's a stick. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is a baseball bat. Hey, that looks like the one my puppet has. Why do I bother? Seeing that you're so interested in it, I'll let you have it. I don't want it. You don't want it? I'll have it. You ain't getting it. My new friend here is gonna have it. Thanks, but I'll pass on the sock. Just take it. I don't want it. You know you want it. Really, I don't want it. Of course you do. Now take it. I don't want the stupid thing. Take it. For the last time, I don't want it. I'll have it. Why don't you shut up? Now take the puppet before I change my mind. Are you deaf? I DON'T WANT THE STUPID HAND PUPPET! Is that it? You're gonna hurt my feelings just like that? For crying out loud, it's just a puppet. Fine. I extend the hand of friendship. <laughs> 
And you bite it. All right already. I give in. I'll take it. I know you wanted it. Anything to shut you up. You said I could have it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. Did too. That's it. I ain't talking to you no more. Oh, yeah? Well, I ain't talking to you no more. What did I do to deserve this? Ahem. <clears throat> Well, look who we have here. Faye? If it isn't Joseph King. I should have known you were the cause of this racket. What are you doing here? After you abandoned me at the crash site, I decided to find help myself. I came across a tribe of Amazon women who've been kind enough to feed and shelter me. I thought I told you to stay back at the plane. Well, it's lucky for you that I didn't. I'm your only ticket out of this dump. Are these really Amazon women? Uh-huh. 100% bona fide Amazonians. They're really nice people. They just want to keep to themselves and live a peaceful life. Well, are you going to get me out of here? That depends. Are you going to apologize for all the trouble you caused me? But I haven't caused you any trouble. You crashed the plane and ruined my photo shoot. Now I want you to apologize. This is blackmail. You can't make me apologize. Joe, 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 you don't understand. I am the one outside the dungeon cell. You are the one inside the dungeon cell. Now, apologize. Okay. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. You don't sound sincere enough. Try that apology again. Okay. I'm really, really sorry. Will you forgive me? I might forgive you. Okay, you're forgiven. Just don't do it again. By the way, there's someone here who wants to see you. Follow me. I've just been cooped up in some smelly dungeon. What's going on around here? Joe, this is the head of the Royal Amazon Guard. Tell him your story. We are very sorry to have had to use force to bring you here, but we had no other choice. You could have tried a telegram. Our princess is in grave danger. We believe that she was captured by the evil man at Floda. Your princess? You don't mean Azura, do you? Trader Bob has told me all about her. He has? You already know about her? Of course I do. I am a man of many talents. Yeah, right. So are you going to help rescue the princess? Hey, I'm working on it already. You are? Joe, I don't know what to say. Well, you could say something nice for a change. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, you haven't been the nicest person since we crashed. What do you expect? My career is on the line here. Hey, so is mine. Sorry to interrupt, but we are wasting precious time. Perhaps you could put your differences aside for one moment. I will, if she will. <laughs> oh, all right. Good. Well, I guess I'd better go and rescue the princess then. Thank you, Joe. Good luck in your mission. Yeah, Joe. Good luck. I guess I better find that princess.
Howdy, Bob. Hello again, Joe. Nice shot. Did you decorate it yourself? I had help from Naomi over there. She's got a real knack for interior decorating. Does she live here? No, she lives in a house with her dad, the chief. She's very pretty. Uh-huh, she sure is. And before you go getting any ideas, I'd just like to say that she's my girlfriend. Do all the villagers look like her? No, not all of them. Some of them are men. Thanks for telling me about Naomi. That's okay. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? I'd like you to tell me more about Floda. Okay, what do you want to know? What do you think Floda will do with Azura? I've heard rumors that they conduct experiments on people. Weird experiments. They may use her as a human guinea pig. So we've got to rescue her. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Howdy, Bob. Hello again, Joe. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? Could you tell me more about Naomi? She's sweet, smart, and she's my girl. We're going out tonight, and I was hoping to give her some flowers, but I haven't had the chance to go out and get some. Thanks for answering my questions. Hey, no problem. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. this orchid in the jungle. I thought you might like to give it to Naomi. Gee, thanks. Orchids are her favorite flower. You're a real lifesaver. We've got a date tonight and I hadn't found her a present yet. Now all I've got to do is find a good restaurant. Sorry, but I can't help you with that one. Naomi will really love this. Glad to help. I'm afraid I can't pay you for it. Oh. But I can offer you one of these fishing nets here. Ah, that will do nicely, I guess. I'd better hide it so she doesn't see it before our date tonight. <laughs> well, I hope you get lucky in finding a restaurant, that is. <laughs> I'm sure we'll manage. Hello, Naomi. Hello, Joe. What can I do for you? What's with the barber chair out front? That's part of my village hair salon. I'm a qualified stylist, except I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are bowl cuts. There's nothing wrong with bowl cuts. I guess not, but I would like to try something different every now and again. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. I've got a date with Bob tonight, and I have to get ready. I'm really nervous about it. How come you're nervous about your date tonight? Oh, it's no big deal. Bob gave me some perfume, which I was going to wear tonight. But Wedgwood drank the entire bottle. He was drunk for a whole week. Hmm, that explains the alluring aroma when we first met. I haven't the heart to tell Bob what happened. And I know he'd be expecting me to wear the perfume. What am I going to do? If I find some perfume, will you trade some stuff in the store for it? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to do that. But I could trade you something of mine, like my trusty hairdressing scissors, for example. I'll keep that in mind if I happen to find some perfume. Thanks. I think I'll look around. Okay. Sure it's okay for me to take one of these nets? Sure thing, son. You're a special customer now. Gee, thanks, Bob. My pleasure.
Well, Sparky, I've been all over the jungle, and I finally found you a copy of Commander Rocket. Here. Thanks, Joe. Now, as a reward, you can give me one of your files. Uh, Joe? Yes? Someone's clipped a coupon from the back page. Yeah, so? Well, it's not exactly mint condition, is it? Sparky, it's just a comic book for crying out loud. But I'm a comic book collector. It has to be in mint condition. Otherwise, it's worthless. I don't believe this. No offense, Joe, but I might get a new copy when we get back home. You can keep this one. I don't want the stupid comic. I want a file. Oh, you can have that, too. Finally. Next time, you can get your own comics. I put my arm in piranha-infested waters enough times for one day. Excuse me, Naomi. Yes, Joe? We were talking earlier about you needing some perfume. Uh-huh. Well, I'm about to make your day. Here's an expensive French fragrance. Joe, you're such a sweet guy. All I have to offer you are my hairdressing scissors. They'll do fine. I'm sure I can put them to good use. Well, I can rest easy about tonight now. Hi there, my name's Joe. Howdy, Joe. I'm Mary Lou Cook. My husband Jimmy and I run this mission. Why is your husband lecturing that monkey? Oh, he thinks he's an anthropologist or something. He's conducting an experiment to see how smart the monkeys are. How smart are the monkeys? They're smart enough to keep Jimmy supplying them with bananas. If he keeps them here much longer, they'll have to go on diets. I'd say he's more a zoologist than anthropologist. Yeah, whatever. At least the monkeys keep him busy. Has he made any breakthroughs yet? I don't get too involved with his work. So you'd have to ask him about that. I have my own things to do. I've heard enough. Thanks. That's okay. I'll talk to you later. Oh, darn it. 
I'm really getting fed up with this nail file. It's almost worn out. Hello again. Hello, Joe. Who did you set the mission up for? Those monkeys. Are <laughs> very funny. We were trying to teach the native pygmies, but they ran away. Why did the pygmies run away? I don't know. I began singing when they suddenly upped and left. Listen. All things great and beautiful. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? <coughs> that was fine. I'm sure they'll come back for more. Why, thank you. Well, I hope they come back soon. How did you talk to the pygmies? I just used my English to pygmy dictionary. Can I have a look at the dictionary? You know... I'd love to let you have a look, but it's the only one I have, and I can't risk losing it. I'll swap you for your dictionary. Mm, what have you got to swap? Would you like another nail file? It's not worn out, is it? No, it's brand new. Hmm. Okay, you've got a deal. I'll swap. Good. I'm glad we could come to some arrangement. So am I. Hi, I'm Joe King. Howdy, boy. The name's Jimmy Cook. Welcome to our humble mission. It's our own little slice of heaven. Do you know where I could find a phone? Mm, that's a tough one. The only place I can think of is the Flota Leader Hosen Factory. You can find them over beyond the pinnacle. This looks more like a zoo than a mission. Hey, I happen to like animals. In my spare time, I'm a zoologist. Last month, I studied sloths. This month, I'm studying monkeys. What exactly is a sloth? A sloth is a tree-climbing edentate mammal found in Central and South America. They're slow-moving, hairy, and have little or no teeth. What do they eat if they have no teeth? Well, they eat stuff that doesn't require chewing. The species in this jungle has a particular liking for sweet nectar. I think I know enough about sloths. You can never know enough. Nice talking to you. Oh, bless you, my son. Hey there, little fella. Wouldn't you rather have this banana instead of that boring coconut? <laughs> That's a good boy. doesn't seem to work. Hello, I'm Joe King. You must be the witch doctor. Th 
that correct? What do you want? What are you doing? I'm mixing up some potions for the villagers. Could you make me a rash cure? It's for a friend of mine. A friend, huh? <laughs> well, I need the following ingredients. The hair of a slow-moving climber, milk from a sacred site, and something else to give it a little buzz. Is that all? That's it. Bring them to me, and I'll have you fixed up in no time. But it's for my friend. Yeah. Whatever you say. <laughs> Thanks for the information. I'm happy to be of assistance. Nice talking to you. Goodbye. I have an idea. If I put the flower on this branch, it might lure him closer. Now to wait. Gee. I wonder what Joe is doing right now. Probably something exciting. That was painful. This won't hurt a bit. Here's one of the ingredients that you need. Excellent. All I need is two more ingredients and you will have a rush cure. I have another one of the ingredients that you need. Ah, some wine. This ought to give the lotion a little buzz. You have done well. All I need is the final ingredient, and you will have a rash cure. This is the final ingredient you need. Excellent. Now I can prepare the lotion. Unga putana. Unga na putan. Kachunga chunga. What on earth are you doing? I'm asking the gods to bless my medicine. Now if you don't mind. Utani chunaga. Chunga. Utani chunga. 
wow, that's pretty neat. Uh -huh. This medicine should cure your rash. Thanks very much. By the way, it's my friend who has the rash. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's what they all say. Well, I've got other work to do, so goodbye. Excuse me, bud. Yes? I found a cure for your rash. A cure? How can I ever thank you? Well, money would be nice. Oh, yeah. Here's a lot of money. Don't spend it all at once. I was wondering if you could help me. That depends. What do you want? Do you have a phone that I could use? I'm sorry, but we don't have a telephone. What's that on your desk? An alarm clock? Har, har, har. You're a real comedian. That phone happens to be out of order, and the repairman isn't due for another day. I'm lost, and I was hoping you could help me. What does this look like? An information bureau? If you want help, go talk to the fat guy at the convenience store. I'm curious. What are you guys doing in the jungle? Um, ah, uh, we have a lederhosen factory. We make lederhosen for export to Europe. Who are you, anyway? Are you the fumigator? I'm the fumigator. Ah, I see you have your equipment with you. Do all the rooms except for the library. We don't want you to find any secret passages. Did you say secret passages? Secret passages? No, no, no. I meant to say special packages. Now just be a good boy and stay away from the library. Hey, there's some money in here. I've already got enough, so I'll leave it here for later. That's odd. It's just an empty record slip that says Elevator Muzak Collection. What are you doing in my kitchen? I'm here for kitchen duty. What? You're not Henry. Who are you? I'm the fumigator. 
I'd like to spray the kitchen. Oh, fat chance, Buster. I got a deadline to meet, so quit bugging me. That's you again. Didn't I tell you to get out already? What are you doing? I'm right in the middle of performing brain surgery. What does it look like I'm doing? Gee, take it easy, pal. I just wanted to know what you were cooking. I'm trying to make the doctor his lunch, but his sensitive teeth make him real fussy about what he eats. I tell you, he's driving me nuts. Could I have a hamburger and fries, please? Lunch has already been served, and besides, I don't take orders. Could I have a beer instead? Beer? This ain't no bar. Now will you get out of here? I'd like to buy this record. Certainly. Do you have enough money? I sure do. Here you go. It's all yours, son. Thanks. Nice doing business with you.
excuse me. Yeah, what is it? I'm a busy man, you know. But I think I have some food that you could safely give the doc. Oh, yeah. What is it? A banana. It's soft and mushy and low on calories. Here. This is just what I need. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. I have to take this to Doc right away. Keep an eye on my kitchen while I'm gone. That should do the trick. There's a letter inside. It's addressed to Private John. Looks like a girl's handwriting. What do you know? I just found some money. It's dark in here. This book seems different to the others. Ah, sweet music. A secret elevator. Swell. Going down. Well, what do you know? I just found a can opener. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Joe King, fumigator for hire. What are you doing? Hello, Joe. I'm John. It's my job to guard this corridor. I have to keep a lookout for unauthorized persons. If you see anyone that shouldn't be here, let me know, okay? Why does this corridor need guarding? Well, there's some pretty secret stuff on this floor. Dr. Einstein has given strict orders to keep out anyone without security clearance. I have a letter here addressed to Private John. It must be for you. Yeah, I've been expecting some mail for the last month. Well, your wait is over. Here's your letter. Oh, joy! It's from my girlfriend. I'm happy for you. I can't wait to find out what she's been doing. Dear John, thank you for your letter. Things have been very busy here at home. I've been working late shifts at the hospital and... I don't know how to break this to you. But I've met a nice young doctor on the night shift. We get along wonderfully, and he treats me really well. What I'm trying to say is, I like you very much, but I like him more. Sorry. Love. Chrissy. Are you okay? She's leaving me for a doctor. <laughs> it's today's roster. It says Private John is assigned Corridor Patrol. Henry is to report to Colonel Jackson for kitchen duty, and Clunk is to guard Frank's office. Here's a memo about some legendary Valley of the Mists. It says, We are very confident that we have found the exact location of the valley. Sturdy construction, elegant design. This is a fine cabinet. That was hard work. It's closed. Halt! This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? You're needed for kitchen duty. This isn't another one of John's practical jokes, is it? Just to be sure that you are telling the truth. Who is the commanding officer in charge of kitchen duties? Colonel Jackson. Colonel Jackson? How could I have forgotten? I was supposed to report to him half an hour ago. Well, you better hurry up and report to him then. I hope he isn't too upset. He seemed pretty steamed up. I'll be back later. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Excellent, my little dino friend. You successfully navigated the maze. Uh, greetings, Dr. Einstein.
Anderson, I trust your flight from Rio was enjoyable? Uh, of course it was. I did the flying. What happened to your nose? Uh, I uh, ran into some uh, air turbulence on the way here. I thought you said the flight was good. Uh, yes, it was good, uh, except for the um, turbulence. Well, I should hope you have less trouble flying my airship. Indeed, uh, Doctor. I'd like to thank you for choosing uh, Flying Dutchman Airlines. I only use the best. If you don't mind me asking, what sort of creature is that? This small creature is a dino rat. A hybrid prehistoric beast with the intelligence of a rodent. It's the result of my earlier genetic experiments. You've done well. Your dino creature is escaping. Damn. Don't worry, Doctor. I'm sure your guards will retrieve it. The important thing is, your Dino Ray is a success. Indeed. Soon, I will make those dolts at the Science Academy sorry. Sorry that they ever laughed at me. Good heavens! It's their plan to take over the world using a race of dinosaur people. It's the great escape. The pages seem stuck together. Hey, there's a key in here. I wouldn't have any use for an empty bottle. You can't keep me locked up like an animal? I am Princess Azura. I demand to be set free immediately. Hey, don't shout at me. I got nothing to do with your imprisonment. Who are you? I'm the, uh, I'm the fumigator. Aren't you a little short for a fumigator? Actually, I'm not really a fumigator. I'm Joe King, pilot for hire, and I'm here to rescue you. Well, don't just stand there. Let me out! Why are you being held captive? This place is run by the evil doctor Frank Einstein. He uses innocent people in his experiments. And I am next! What sort of experiments does he conduct? He's created an enchanted machine that turns his victims into... into... dinosaur people! And if I don't escape, I shall end up as one too! Do you know where the key to the door is? It's not in this room. One of the guards took it with him. I don't know his name, but he was a real bookworm. Thanks for the information. Hurry up and save me! There you go, Princess! You are free! Thank you, Joe. You saved my life! Hey, it ain't over yet. You call that a kiss? Joe hasn't fallen into the midst of some dangerous jungle beast. It's been fun, but I think we should get out of here.
They've closed the security door and sounded the alarm. I can hear footsteps. It must be the guards. We've got to do something. Azura, I have an idea. What is it? I'll show you. I've searched everywhere. Where are they hiding? <laughs> Who's there? Those damn mannequins are so lifelike. I'm beginning to imagine they are real. They must have left the building before the security doors closed. They won't get far. <laughs> I'll say. What now? Let's see if I can work out this code. Nothing happened. Time's running out, Joe. Don't worry, Azura. I'll get us out of this mess. I know you will, Joe. Did you see the guard enter the door code? I didn't have a clear view of what he was doing. But I think he pressed the blue button. Then red, green, blue, then red again. Wow, that's a very impressive memory you have. Why, thanks, Jack. Ah, that's Joe. Yeah, whatever. Here goes nothing. It worked. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. We must hurry back to my people. No, you go ahead. I'll stay here and make sure no one follows. Very well, Joe. I shall see you soon. I just hope I can find my way to her home. Easy boy. I'll uh, just be on my way. They got him trained well. That doesn't seem to work. Going down. is allowed in there. Sorry, I was just seeing if the door handle still works. Well, it works fine. Just keep away. Okay. Okay, whatever you say. Sheesh, what a touchy guy. What did you just say? Nothing. Hi, I'm just doing some routine fumigating. Fumigating? Ah yes, I was briefed about you. You might as well move on. These rooms are off-limit. Do you 
you do anything else besides eat? I like eating. If I didn't eat, I'd end up like you. A skinny runt. You think you're a tough guy, don't you? No, I don't think I'm a tough guy. I know I'm a tough guy. I've been through Dr. Einstein's super soldier treatment. I've heard all I want to about toughness. Oh, okay. I gotta go. Good idea. That should do the trick. Hey, Clunk, are you feeling hungry? I'm always hungry. Have you got some food? Maybe. What is it? It's, uh, it's Chef's Surprise. Mmm, I love some. Thanks. Here you go. Are you okay? I feel a, a, a little strange. That's probably the anchovies. How you feeling, Clunk? I'm feeling a little giddy. You really think you're a tough guy, don't you? I know I'm a tough guy. I've had Doc Einstein's super soldier treatment. And I'm as tough as they come. I don't think you're tough. I think you're a weenie. What did you call me? You heard me the first time. You are a weenie. Oh yeah? Go ahead and punch me. Then you'll see how tough I am. Go easy on me. <laughs> Who's laughing now? This map shows Flota's current position in the Amazon jungle. I think this guy's got a big ego problem. It's a mahogany desk. These guys must be loaded. There seems to be an indentation on the pad. <laughs> it looks like the combination to a safe. I don't think anyone would mind if I tore this page out. That should do the trick. I just found a padlock key and plans to some sort of gadget. These may come in handy. Easy boy, I'll uh, just be on my way. Hey 
got him trained well. Hello, boy. I've got you a present. Here you go. It looks like a rocket pack. It's some sort of experimental rocket pack, but it's out of gas. Azura, you're safe. All thanks to you, Joe. And to show you how grateful I am, I have a reward for you. Thanks, but what is it? It's a Tyranno horn. It's been handed down from generation to generation. Is it worth anything? It's priceless. Doesn't look like it's worth very much. When blown, it makes the sound of an angry Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is a symbol of my people's strength. And now it is yours. Well, it's been fun. But I got other things to take care of. Like getting my plane out of the river. Hold it right there, King. You know my name? I know all about you. Who are you? That's the evil Dr. Ironstein! He's the man who kidnapped me! I followed you here after you escaped from my secret camp. I have this place surrounded by armed guards. What do you want with us? I have a little job for you, Mr. King. There is a crystal skull hidden deep within an ancient temple on Sloth Island. I would like you to find it for me. Why should I do that for you? Why? Because if you don't, I will transform every last one of your Amazon friends into dinosaur women. Don't listen to him, Joe! My first victim will be the beautiful Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do it. But what makes you think I can find the skull? You got past my security and rescued Azura. That was quite a feat. If anyone can find the skull, you can. Do I have your word that you will release the Amazons? Of course you do. I am a man of honor. Well, I guess I got a skull to find. I'll be back. Good luck, Joe. Things are really hotting up now.
What do you want, mortal? I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. You are joking. What insolence. This is no time for levity. I didn't say I was joking. I said I was Joe King. As if I care. I'm preoccupied, so I'd appreciate it if you left. You sound upset, bud. What's the matter? It concerns you not, mortal. Now, if you don't mind, I'm busy. Are you fishing? No, I'm flying a kite. Of course I'm fishing. Look, the fish aren't biting, and I'm getting a little uptight. So would you please leave me alone? What sort of bait are you using? Bait? 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 What do you mean, bait? I think I know why you're not catching any fish. You need bait. How could I be so stupid? I've got the fishing rod, the fishing line, and the river full of fish. But I haven't got the bait. If I get you some bait, will you ferry me to Sloth Island? It's a deal, but I warn you, I'd better catch a fish, or I'll use you as bait. I found you some bait. Try this. about that. I won't do it again. You better not. Are the fish still biting? I've had a few nibbles. Will you take me to Sloth Island now? Oh, all right. You fulfilled your end of the deal. Okay, let's go. Thanks for the ride. That's okay. Mortal, be careful. <laughs> I will. What a nice guy. I guess I better find that skull. So old, it's starting to come to pieces. That doesn't seem to work.
It's empty. It fits. It's empty. Hmm, that didn't work. It's a small thin hole in the statue head. I'll just use one coin. Looks like I hit the jackpot. A secret passage. I better get the arm bone. It may come in handy. No way. What would I do if it answered me? No way. I'm allergic to rodents, particularly genetically mutated ones. Ouch! What the? Before you may proceed, you must answer this riddle. What walks on four legs at dawn, two legs at noon, and three legs at dusk? It's me after a visit to Al's Bar and Grill. That's a very poor attempt at humor. I'll give you another go. What's the answer? I know. It's man in his three stages of life. You got it right. Man crawls as a baby early in his life. He walks upright in the middle of his life. And he walks with a walking stick in his later years. So I got it right. Now what? Well, now I can let you proceed through the temple. Only those worthy of the riddle may do so. And you are worthy. I like that riddle. Would you mind telling me what you are? I cannot answer your questions now. But if you survive the temple, then I will reveal all. Thanks for the riddle. I'll see you later. Only if you are good enough. Hey! Hey, you! Come back here! I just want to know who you are! Talk about rude!
Looks like he didn't get too far. I don't think I need that. I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Who, what are you people? We are Prince Almac the Bottle's personal concubine. We are waiting for him to rest before we leave for the afterlife. I don't see any prince. Where is he? He's in the sarcophagus, sleeping. How do you know the prince is still in there? He may have left without you. Our prince would never do such a thing. We trust him. Prove to me he's still there. Open the sarcophagus. We don't have to prove anything to you. Now, if you don't mind, would you please go away? You're afraid he's not inside, aren't you? That is not true. Our prince is resting in the sarcophagus. I'll prove it to you. Open the sarcophagus. See, there is our sweet prince, resting as I had predicted. Close the sarcophagus. How do you know he's still under all those rags? Give me a break, will you? Go bother some other zombies. We're busy. I hope the prince is wearing boxers. I've got some more questions. What is it that you want to know? I think you should open the sarcophagus again. Why on earth should I reopen it? Give me one good reason. I pulled a pile of rags out of the sarcophagus. You did what? We'd better have a look inside then. Open the sarcophagus. What? He's gone? But how? Close that thing up. What did I tell you? Our sweet prince has left. He's gone into the afterlife without us. Gee, I feel so helpless. I wish there was something I could do. That rat. Wait until I get my hands on him. Okay, girls. We've got business to take care of. In the afterlife. Goodbye, Mr. King. Perhaps we will meet again. Uh, goodbye. Well, that's gotten rid of them. <clears throat> Looks like the prince left his crown behind. It'll make a swell souvenir. I don't think I'd have any use for that. I can't. It's all gummed up. That should do the trick. Hmm, it looks loose. Hey, over here! 
Ah, it's you again. Say, you're one of Doc Einstein's boys. What are you doing in that cage? I accidentally set off a trap. I pulled when I should have pushed. Who are you? I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Your boss sent me here to find some crystal skull. Well, your search is over, Mr. King. My name is Ian, and I have what you are looking for right here with me. You do? Yes. Now, if you'll just help me out of this cage. We can both bask in glory when we return with the skull. How do I know I can trust you? Of course you can trust me. We are both on the same side, are we not? Besides, you need to release me to get the crystal skull. How do I get over to where you are? I can't remember the exact route. But I do know that you'll have to find your way past a giant snake. Can I have a look at the crystal skull? Do you take me for a fool? The skull stays hidden on my person until you get me out of this cage. How long have you been hanging around here? Is that meant to be a joke? Hey, lighten up a little. You guys need a sense of humor. There is little time for humor in our organization. Taking over the world is a very serious business indeed. I gotta go now. Hurry up and rescue me, okay? It looks loose. Yo! That thing is hot. I think I just fried the hand puppet. Doesn't look very safe hanging from the roof. I think I can see a room on the other side of this wall. It fits. That should do the trick. It's a heavy stone wheel with a small hole in it. I can't move it.
I can't see any way over there. It's closed. I can't move it. It's sealed shut. I'll stay right here. It's got no flint. That should do the trick. I'm a pilot for hire, not a pyromaniac. You're lucky I didn't deep fry you, pal. I ain't afraid of no snakes. ID card and a strange piece of stone. I ain't gonna walk through those heat rays. It's incredibly smooth and reflective. Anderson, how soon until the Zeppelin is ready? 
very soon, Dr. Einstein. Excellent. Once I have the skull, we will fly into the valley. Then I can begin my reign of terror. <laughs> what about King? What you plan to do with him? Don't worry, Anderson. I know how much you despise the man. Despise is probably too strong a word. I can assure you that he will never bother you again. Ever. No? We shall discuss this later. I have work to do. Soon, I will rule the world. <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? The doctor is insane. And he plans on killing Joe. Without him around, who will I gloat over? Hmm. On the other hand, I'll finally have him out of my hair. But then I'll have to live with his death on my conscience. Although Einstein is paying me good money, what a moral dilemma. What am I going to do? I have it! I have the big stick! But now what do I do with it? There's a small indentation below the eye. That doesn't seem to work. Just great. I broke the crypt and my big stick. Holy cow! It's some sort of ceremonial death mask. This thing could be worth a fortune. No one will mind if I take it.
Its mirror surface is all tarnished. Whoa! I hope I don't have to pay for that. It's too big to carry. I'll leave it here. I can't quite reach it. That's not such a good idea. I'd probably knock the jewel into the water. Wow! Secret passages! I wonder where they lead. Nothing happened. It's too far over that glowing pit to reach. I finally made it. About time. I'd almost given up hope. Just out of curiosity, uh, what's in the pit? I'll tell you what. Get me down from here and we can swap places. Then you can see for yourself. I've got an idea. Excellent! What is it? I'd like you to untie the rope tethering the cage. Don't be ridiculous. If I untie the rope, I fall into the pit. Not the rope that the cage is hanging from. The rope at your feet. Ah, of course. I knew that. There. Great stuff. Now I can set you free. It worked. You're free. Excellent. You have done well. But I'm afraid this is where we part company.
Hey, I thought we had a deal. Don't argue with me, King, or I will have to shoot you. But I saved your life. And I am returning the favor. If I happen across you again, I may not be so kind. So don't follow me. What a creep. you Holy cow! It's Ian! He may have been an arrogant, double-crossed piece of scum, but he didn't deserve to end up like this. That lion cheat! He didn't have the crystal skull at all! The only thing I found was a strange piece of rock. Everything else was flattened.
looks like some sort of stone lizard. There's a small hole in its chest. It doesn't fit. It looks like part of a stone carving. It fits. Uh-oh, I think it's gonna explode. There's a staircase leading to a room below. Hey there, little fella. I've got a snack for you. There's something strangely familiar about these markings. Wait a second. The writing in the dictionary matches. Let's see if I can translate. If in wanting to needy escape, be sure of the press exit panels on order that is right. To make exit, simply assume launch position over deployed module. That sounds simple enough. This place has been untouched for centuries. Everything's covered in a thick layer of dirt. I wonder if Joe is okay. I hope he hasn't fallen foul of some horrible death trap. There, that's much better. That doesn't seem to work. Patterns have changed. Hey, a 
I opened the door. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Huh? You again? I didn't think that you would make it this far. I'm impressed. Look, I'm really happy for you, but where's the skull? It is within your grasp, but first you must give me the key. Key? What key? The key to your lineage. You are the successor to the royal house of Al Maxaquatl, are you not? Of course. I'm Joe Al Maxaquatl, Prince Bahia. Very good. Give me your key and the skull will be yours. I've got the key to my lineage right here. Yes, and what might that key be? It's the crown that's been in my family for hundreds of years. Ah, the Royal Almaxaquatl headpiece. That's the one. Here. Oops, sorry about that. Do not worry. You have proven that you are the heir. You are worthy to take the skull. Thanks. Neat. As a member of the Royal House of Almax Aquatel, I trust that you know what you are doing. Now I must leave. At last, I found it. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Hey! The power's gone off. It looks loose. Looks like I've activated something. Well, here goes nothing. like Mr. King has found his way out. Greetings, Mr. King. Ouch! Congratulations on your success. I got the skull. Now you can let the Amazons go free. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd like you to come with me. Great! I'm locked up again! Hello, King! You double-crossing fiend! Let me out of here! I can't do that. You would interfere with my plans. But thanks to you, the shield surrounding the valley is off. Now I have access to all of the dinosaurs within. What are you gonna do with me? Don't fret, Mr. King. I won't waste your life. Needlessly, once I return with fresh dinosaur samples, you'll be the first to be transformed. Why on earth do you need more dinosaurs? The answer is quite simple, Mr. King. Do you know what DNA is? Is it the National Dyslexics Association? 
not quite. It's deoxyribonucleic acid. It contains the genetic makeup of all living organisms. Change DNA, and you change life itself. You're not mixing dinosaur DNA with human DNA, are you? I'm afraid so, Mr. King. And with pleasing results, too. Soon, I will have an army of dinosaur soldiers at my command. I'll do whatever I can to stop you once I get out of here. How noble of you. Maybe you should try banging your head against the bars to loosen them. Or you could use your knife to dig your way out. <laughs> Your sarcasm will be your undoing. I'd really love to stay and talk, but I have a lost valley of dinosaurs to plunder. Perhaps we can continue our conversation when I return. Farewell, King. I'm really beginning to feel like Harry Houdini. We finally found you! Hi there, big boy. They? Hello, Joe. Bet you didn't expect to see me, yeah? Anderson, what are you doing here? You no good son of a- Get a grip, Joe. He's here to help us. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, get a grip. Why would he want to help us? Because the doctor is insane. He must be stopped at all costs. No kidding? You're a regular genius, you know that? Well, at least I'm smart enough not to be behind bars. <laughs> You're just lucky that I am behind bars, pal. Quit your bickering, you two. He started it. I did not. We have to find a way to get this door open. Yeah, maybe there's a crowbar or something in this cupboard. A crowbar? You'll need more than a crowbar to open this door. Good thinking, Hans. Hans? Your name is Hans? It was my father's name. We don't have time for idle chit-chat. We have work to do. Let's have a look. Hey, there's some kind of gun in here. Biffy. Be careful, Faye. That crazed Dr. Einstein has some deadly toys. Well, this looks pretty deadly. Maybe I can blow the lock off the door. Okay. Let's give it a go. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why don't you think it's a good idea, Joe? Are you afraid? No. I'm just concerned for your, uh, safety. Yeah, right. Well, you better stand back. I don't believe it! It dissolved the entire door! Just as well. This thing has burnt out. Well, Faye, we've got to get a move on. Why the hurry? Hans has to fly the Zeppelin into the valley. If we don't get back to the hangar, Einstein may get suspicious. We've done all we can, Joe. You've got to find some way into the valley and stop Einstein before it's too late. I'll try. You guys be careful now, okay? We will. Good luck, Joe. Yes, King. Good luck. This isn't my day. Now I have to find some way into the valley.
it's some sort of experimental rocket pack, but it's out of gas. It's the blueprint for Commander Rocket's pocket rocket. It can reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour and runs on just a quarter gallon of gas. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this alcohol. Sure thing, son. May I see your ID, please? My ID? Yeah, ID. You have ID, don't you, son? Yeah, sure. I've got it right here. See? Hmm. You were born on the 13th of July, 1922, huh? That's right. How old are you, then? How old am I? I'm, uh, up 26. Okay, but this card doesn't have your name on it. Of course it doesn't. I've just changed my name to Joe King, and I haven't got my new ID card through yet. Yeah, right. Okay, you can have the alcohol. Gee, thanks a lot. Remember, drinking doesn't make you big or clever, and never drive an automobile while under the influence. Thanks for the public service announcement, Bob, but I am an adult. This thing looks like Commander Rocket's jetpack, and according to those blueprints, it takes a quarter gallon of gas. I'll try that much. Well, here goes nothing. Ow! My head hurts. I'm so glad you could drop in, Joe. I knew that you'd make it. Faye, what are you doing here? I hitched a ride with Anderson in the airship. My God! That's a dinosaur! It's a living, breathing dinosaur! That's right, King. Welcome to the Valley of the Mists. Where are the others? They're with Dr. Ironstein. He has no idea that you're here, so you have the advantage of surprise. Great. Maybe I can scare him to death. You'll think of something. I told Frank that I needed to powder my nose, so I better get back. Powder your nose? Come on, follow me. If I get out of this alive, I'm taking a long vacation. Faye? Where are you, Faye? Oh, great. Now I've lost Faye. And this dinosaur is in my way. It's a giant Apatosaurus, commonly known as a Brontosaurus, and it's blocking my way.
it's a bit too strong for me to break. Here you go, girl. That should keep her occupied. Wow! More dinosaurs! Damn! I scared them away! Now where's he gone? They both left in a hurry. I wonder why. I have a feeling that I'm about to find out. That's one mean-looking dinosaur. It looks like a Deinonychus, a particularly vicious theropod. I ain't going anywhere near him. I hope this guy is scared of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Taking care of him. At last, I have made it into the valley. Hold it right there, Einstein. King, how did you get here? That's not important. What is important is that I put a stop to your sinister plans. Put a stop to my plans? My dear king, you are going to help me fulfill them. Watch out, Joe! He has a portable dino ray gun. That's right, king. One shot and you'll be transformed into a mindless dinosaur. Threaten me all you want. I won't be a party to your evil deeds. Perhaps I can persuade you by threatening the lovely Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do whatever you ask. Just don't hurt her. Come here, kid. I have something for you. This is the Crystal Skull. What do you want me to do with this? I want you to place it in that statue over there. That doesn't sound too bad. There, I put the skull in, now what? Holy cow! It worked! Just as legend said! All systems functional, unit compliance initiated. Huh? I don't get it. What is this thing? That thing is... The most powerful device on the face of the Earth! I was designed by the creators of this valley to help construct and protect the shield. With it leading my army of dinosaur people, I shall be invincible. And Nothing will stop me from taking over the world! Uh-oh. 
I only obey the activating unit. Hey, that's me. Oh, well, in that case, King, I must destroy you. <laughs> Thanks for saving my life. I was just doing my job. Good lord, what happened? My crystalline structure amplified the intensity of his weapon. Is that bad? It means that he now has powers equal to mine. I must stop him. <laughs> Oh my god! They're fighting! You gotta do something, Joe! Hurry! Before they kill each other! I'll try and get Frank in my sights. Here goes nothing. He deflected the ray. You've got to turn Fay back to normal. Okay, I'll give it a go. Nice one, Joe. Sorry, Fay. Excuse me, Fay. Yes, Joe. I'd like you to turn your mirror around. What on earth for? So that when Frank deflects the ray, it will bounce off your mirror. Oh, I get it. Then I won't get zapped into a dinosaur. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thanks, Faye. Frank in my sights. Here I go again. Well, that didn't do much good. Darn. Sparky sure does make a cute dinosaur. Yeah, but he's not much use as a Triceratops. So mellow. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe. I got an idea how to stop you from getting zapped by the dino ray. What's your idea? Do you want me to move? No, no, no. Put this mask on. Okay. Its shiny surface should deflect the beam. So just sit tight, little buddy, okay? What was that? Oh, sorry, Sparky. But you should have gone before we left. Now to get him in my sights. Hasta la vista, Frank. You did it! You destroyed Dr. Einstein! I couldn't have done it without you guys helping me. I am awaiting further orders. I think it's best if we leave this place. Is there any way you can restore the valley's shields? I could channel the energy from the crystal skull back into them. But the skull would have to remain here with me in the valley. That's not such a bad idea. It might just keep out crazies like Frank. I want you to do it. By your command.
But what about the dinosaurs? We could make a lot of money out of them. Some things are best left in the past, Faye. Is it over? Did I miss anything? I'll tell you all about it later, Sparky. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. Congratulations, King. It looks like you saved the world. Maybe I was wrong about you, Joe. With Frank gone, the world is a much safer place. If only he'd used his powers for niceness, instead of evil. Look! The shield has been restored. The valley is safe again, but for how long? Don't worry, Joe. The Amazon jungle has been untouched for thousands and thousands of years. I'm sure it will remain untouched for thousands more. Well, Princess, I ought to be getting you home. But, Joe, I want to stay with you.